His whole life was a life of, of sacrifice. He's the servant king. He laid it down. He didn't just lay it down when he was 33 and a half years when he died on the cross. Jesus began this, this, this complete sacrifice when he was born, when he became a human. He, he became a, a human being and his, his mother was pregnant with him and they, they had the census. Remember, they called everyone back to the land of their birth. And Mary, nine months pregnant, had to go back to Jerusalem, to Bethlehem, where her descendants were from in order to be counted. And Jesus, God in the flesh, was not born in a nice, clean hospital room. He wasn't born at home where all they had all the comforts of home. They couldn't find a room. They couldn't find a bed and breakfast. They couldn't find a friend to stay with. They literally stayed in a stable with the animals because there was no room. And Jesus, Almighty God, who chose to come down and become a human, was born in a manger in a stable with animals. Isn't that incredible? You would think a king, a, a god, would be born in a palace, but not this one. Jesus laid aside his reputation. He laid aside his deity. He laid aside his, not his deity, he was still divine, but he laid aside all the benefits that go with it to become a human. And sometimes we look at Jesus' death as the sacrifice he made for humanity, but really the sacrifice he made started when he was born and it lasted his entire life. He was God, and he became a man. That kind of love is incomprehensible. That's the kind of love Paul was talking about when he said the depth, the height, the breadth, the length of the love of Christ, which is past knowledge. The fact that Jesus would become a man should just blow us away.